Greetings everyone and welcome back to Avon Colony. Now in this episode we are going to begin on Hyla's Crescent. Now for those who are interested this is the last map that I played in my first taste. I did play through it though but I suspect some things may have changed as they did with Sandy Gulch. Beyond that Tanari Galatia, uh, Arido Misa, Kalori Strand, Valley of Death and Eden Cre What? Really who would try to settle in a place called Valley of Death? Uh, I mean come on who would name a place Valley of Death if they ever wanted to settle there? But uh, and again we're gonna be playing on hard now, in this one, we've identified the location of a larger foreign object. You will need to build a large agricultural colony, extend it around the Great Central Lake to reach the object, then recover it and study it. Mind your minerals. While this area is excellent at supporting food cultivation, the mineral deposits here are meager at best, and you'll run out quickly if you're not careful. Very well. So uh, this is going to be a little bit more of a tricky one. All right, but it is lush and green, and there's probably going to be all sorts of grand places where we can build our food. Oh, it's going to be good times. Right, now, we're going to take it to heart. Uh, we've got 179 um, nanites, but we... Oh, actually, no, we've got two iron deposits right there. Now, what I'm going to assume is going to be the issue is we're going to need to get up to relying on Calco Sludge for our nanites more than anything else. Welcome. Your colonists have been informed of your arrival and are eager to see what their leader can do for them. Very well. We've identified the presence of an unknown object here on Hyla's Crescent. While the mineral deposit at this location are barely adequate, this area is excellent for building an agricultural colony. After we extend the colony out towards the opposite end of the lake, we can acquire the object using construction drones. This will be a very large colony. Let's begin by adding a second solar panel. Okay, and we'll get only two nanos. Now, Focus on this. I seem to remember on this map the rewards in terms of nanites and other things are meager, really, really small. Do not rely on rewards to be able to dig you out of a nanite hole because I don't think they will. Uh, we're going to place this down. Requires how many people to run it? Actually, requires no people to run it, uh, which is glorious. So you can go behind there then. As far as I can tell, no workers. Uh, 10 workers. Yep, no, that's great. Okay, we'll get that built. And we'll... Um, you know what? We are going to need these. But I'm going to... Although I could just run this straight up there. I'm just going to hook up to this one. Now, I'm worried about this map. I seem to recall it was very easy to run out of nanites. So I'm going to preempt that. I'm going to do things just slightly out of, out of order. I know, I know. It's going to make some people's brains itch. But I think this is the wisest course of action. So I'm going to get those going straight away. Also, although this is going to take a lot more nanites, actually. Uh, all right, we're going to have an intake fan. I was going to go for the more efficient air filters, but the intake fan is much cheaper. So we'll go with that option. Right, so that one's done. We've got two nanites, and we are now making our own. So that's all sorted. Okay, yeah, we do, actually. Uh, build a water pump to ensure that our farms and our colonists will have ample access to water. We'll get four pasta and two nanites. And we need food. We'll get 18 quinoa. Fantastic. Or oh, quinoa, as I was calling it back in the first place. I'd, ne I'd never even heard of this this uh, this crop. Um, and I felt a little little bit a uh, little bit sheepish when people said, "No, it's not quinoa. It's quinoa." And in fact, off the back of that is why I found out what quinoa was. I, I had to know what, what this this thing was that I had been mispronouncing for so long. And uh, yeah, never looked back. It's an amazing food. It's fantastic. So versatile. Uh, right, let's actually have a look at the water table. Where are we going to find the... Oh, well. That's only 80%. Oh, I guess it's an overlay. So this is darker land, so it looks darker. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Really? We're right next to a lake. 90s. Ooh, here's some hundreds. Yes, okay. Worth getting to. Let's uh, draw this out to reach it. We're now building, or should be building, our own... Ooh, insufficient power. Okay, that's that's unfortunate. Um, however, on the plus side, we haven't got that many nanites. But how many is it going to take? 24 nanites to build you. Let's get you going then. And let's also get the water pump going. It's going to require a little bit of power. Pop that there. 
And once again, we'll build an intake fan to try and deal with the uh, air that we're, we're going to be, the air quality that's going to be dropping around here. The main thing is that we are producing nanites, and that is uh, a big thing for us. I could upgrade this, but right now I'm actually going to avoid doing that due to the issue with nanites. And we'll just see where we can go. There we are, some extra nanites. Power issues until we get this built. There we go. All things should be okay. All right, then. Let's have a look at our food options. Now, this place is going to be amazing for most foods. Uh, barley is not great. Um, we've got some pockets of 60 and even 70% productivity around here. And generally not, not bad. I mean, there's a couple of 30s, but we do see clusters of decent production. Corn... Um, oh wow, corn is faring a little bit worse, but there are places where it's actually not bad. 70s and 60s. Oh, okay, this is going to be our cash crop then. Uh, 90s, 80s. Yeah, I'm struggling to find a place. There's there's some 50s over there. What about quinoa? Oh, poor quinoa. 10s, 40s. Yeah, not too good. And rice. Rice is a little bit better. Yeah, it's probably around the same sort of quality as corn. But for our first one then, we're going to go ahead and we are going to get some melons on the go now this will produce how much 7.2 i think that was 8.2 um seven over there we'll see if we can just upgrade this and how much it will increase it by because we won't have to have any extra workers we'll just be able to uh get more food winter approaches and we are going to have a food deficit when it gets here there we are. Now, full growth, 100%. 1.6 melons an hour. If I upgrade, plus 72%. Um, and how many nanites is it to upgrade? It'll cost 9 nanites to do it. And it only costs 22 nanites to build. So, sure, okay, let's, let's go for that. That's a fairly good return. Uh, let's get that one down. Mm, how are we doing for water? We're actually not doing that great. We could upgrade it for eight nanites for an extra 55% um, income, but we get a 100% more for nine nanites, but it's gonna require four extra workers. What are our pop? Yeah, we have not got nearly that many, so we're gonna have to upgrade that. Okay, the next thing we're also gonna want then is a, probably a habitat, I'm gonna say. We could pop down a habitat there, or behind here sure let's uh let's make that happen uh it's gonna be too either way so we'll just pop it there there we go and finally we're gonna need to wait a little while in order to get this we, we're not quite up at the amount of food that we need i'm actually kind of pleased that we've got any food income oh well i spoke too soon i was going to say i'm pleased we've got any food income in winter but no no it wasn't meant to be uh let's make sure that you're actually getting High priority on your workers. Same with this. High priority on workers. Let's try and make sure that we keep the colony going. Okay, there we go. We've managed to hit the requirements. We've completed the objectives. And I've also gone ahead and set up a high priority immigration center. Uh, there's still a little bit more that we can do. For example, upgrading this would make a lot of sense. But we're fairly low on nanites. We are just getting by. I would like to upgrade that, though, because it's going to be a bit of a bit of an issue. Uh, we've already got more residential space. Oh, you want an outpost specifically? Why? Why do you want the, the the horrible little tiny ones? This is terrible news. But okay. Sometimes that does boggle my mind a little bit. We, we need residential space. So build this tiny little hut that can only house two people. When you've already built a massive skyscraper. I'm obviously exaggerating. But although the game is really good at recognizing when you've already done what it's going to ask. Sometimes it doesn't recognize if you've done something ach that achieves what it asked you to achieve just in a different way and that's a little bit of a shame uh, but okay we'll do as you say we'll get the the tiny little outpost up there there we are let's see what else we got two nanites i mean two nanites at the end of the day is two nanites is quite worthwhile getting uh we're doing fine for power generally uh what's our next have we got anything next no uh honestly it seems that this one's being much more hands-off and just letting us get two things which i do appreciate but what we really need and what is going to take a long time to get to 
is a research center. So, given that, let's have a look at my colony. Um, it could be improved. So how about we do a little thing that just to, to help the people. We, we need 20 nanites. We'll be there in just a moment. There we go. And I want to give you guys something to just make the days a little bit easier. Let's let's get a, a bar and grill going. Just something to, to keep the spirits high. <laughs> I've built a giant one, though. Uh, again. In order to expand... We're going to need more nanites faster. We'd like you to increase your nanite income to at least 1.5 per hour. Be aware that the iron deposits here are smaller than the ones in other regions of Avon Prime. You will need to carefully plan the expansion of your colony to reach the other deposits. I recommend avoiding laser mines here. Uh, I never use laser mines because they waste um, resources. Uh, it's just not a thing that I like. Uh, this is up and running and... Uh, you know what, well, they, they can just filter into that as needed. That should help with entertainment, though. Uh, we are going to need a little bit more room soon, though. And that's going to need another 20 nanites, unfortunately. How much does it normally cost? Uh, thir 32 nanites for 36 colonists. We'll be spending 20 nanites for 80. Yeah, that's actually not too bad, especially considering uh, this structure is not going to increase in the power requirement, which is uh, quite nice. All right, well, we need a mini storage, though. Uh, that's going to take a little while. So I'm just going to get the, the basics of this colony up and running and hopefully make a very rapid uh, march towards gaining a research center because we need to know how to use a Calco Sludge so bad. Okay, there we go. We have managed to get up to... Uh, well, actually, we've completed loads of missions all at once. Okay, so solar energy, we've got the four solar panels. we built a greenhouse. We've also upgraded the geothermal generator. Uh, we've built two intake fans. We've grown the colony to 100 people. And we've increased the storage. <laughs> this is fantastic. So many things are done ahead of schedule. I feel somewhat I accomplished. For you from the inhabitants of the colony. Okay, it's time to take on referendums. Well done. I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. Thank you very much. Select one of the following resources. I think I would like the quinoa, actually. Because that's going to be harder for us to uh, manufacture ourselves. Alright, there we go. So, the first thing I want you to research is Calco Sludge. Let's get that going. And number two, we want a chemistry lab so I can actually make... Calco Sludge. Uh, pop that one just down there and bring this all the way down. At this stage, I'm going to say we do need an air filter and probably an air filter around here would be okay. Yeah, let's pop that down there. It's not the best placement, I'll be honest with you, but it's good enough. And at this stage, I really feel that uh, we perhaps want a couple more drones, really. Uh, let's bump that up to number two because this is going to be producing quite a lot of toxic fumes i feel right we are starting to hit our population cap indeed we are okay let's uh sort that out a little bit by getting a another hub yeah sure just but they should do and another one of our mines is now out of minerals rip mine i'm also going through the process of replacing our vents with tier three um, filters just so that we don't have to worry too much. However, there's always going to be one in the middle of the colony because this is where I want any plague spores to try and get to. Right, we have researched Calco uh, Sludge. We should be producing Calco Sludge in quite vast quantities, in fact. We can also make some narrow medicine, some plague vaccine. Uh, probably a worthwhile cause, honestly. Let's get all of those being made it's and set up. Oh, hello. Uh, goodbye. We'll set up a hospital right about there. Because there's a couple of people who aren't particularly well. Let's get that going right now. Well, in fact, we'll take it all the way up to the uh, second tier as well. There we go. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about forcing workers in there. That should be okay. How are we doing in terms of our ooh, housing field? Not so great. Let's uh, make sure this goes all the way up. There we are. And all the way to tier three as well. Perfect. That should be good enough. 
Right, things seem to be doing okay, for the time being at least. We have to get over to this vent is our next objective, though I'm worried about how much population we've increased without really looking at our food. So, with that in mind, let's build one or two more melon farms around the place. We've got seven over there. We could get one for 8.2 melons there. Five melons. Um... Eight melons, it honestly seems like this is one of the best places for it. So, uh, sure, we'll place another one down. I'm mostly going to be going with um, the actual uh, greenhouses here. I don't see much point in having no production in, in winter. Farms can slightly outproduce them once you get to tier three farms, but eh, it doesn't seem that important, really. Oh my goodness. I have not seen one of those before. That is terrifying. There's some sort of water version of the massive acid-spitting worm from uh, Sandy Gulch. That was definitely not there last time I played. Ye guys, we may need to build out there, just get a, uh, a cannon just to dissuade it a little bit. But as you can see, the colony has come along a little ways. We've got quite a lot going on, though. We are, unfortunately, at 100% housing filled, and we don't quite have enough jobs being filled. I'm sort of hoping that we'll be able to get a skyscraper, but honestly, at the rate we're making nanites, we'll be lucky if we ever get one. However, I am currently utilizing the uh, policy for automatic drone repair. I am, in fact, going to turn that off and just allow our nanites to build up a little bit. The problem is not with the amount of calco sludge we've got. We've got more than enough. It's with the speed that we can process calco sludge into nanites so with that in mind let's go ahead and build a new nanite manufacturing facility just down here we will then upgrade it as soon as we get enough nanites to do so which shouldn't actually be that far away and we'll get 50 percent faster conversion for the amount of people working here we'll actually increase the priority as well there we go now we are still going to be producing much more than the calcus sludge we have. This is eight times slower than standard nanite creation. That is that is the kicker with using calcus sludge to produce your nanites. Now, we only need another 14, and we're actually getting up there. This one place that isn't even producing calcus sludge that uh, effectively is doing an amazing job right now. Let's get that going. We want this one prioritized and again upgraded we will get back to about the one nanite per second mark and then we can continue our expansion out to the geotherms but right now it's fairly slow going as i kind of knew it would be unfortunately all right as you can see i have been busy in your absence it has been a very long while since we were able to build up or rather it took a very long time for us to build up the necessary amount to build this geothermal but oh my lord Finally, we are going to complete a quest as well as sort out some power issues, as you can see. I've uh, had to build quite an extensive array of solar panels to try and help us through because the nearest uh, geothermal was enormously far away. Uh, let's continue this. Let's get that built. However, there are some uh, well issues over here, namely the uh, air quality is rather bad rather rather bad uh we also got full storage let me see we've got way too many melons let's drop that down by a good old mouth there we go now what we really quite desperately need is an air purifier up here so let's get that built right there and then upgrade it as soon as we're able to oh i know i i know it's really bad over here i i, I am so sorry but we had to get people up here first because we didn't have the power to run these things until now. <laughs> oh, everything's been going so bad. Uh, building reactivated. The research center has automatically been switched back on because we've got power. Hooray! I do like that it does that, actually. Uh, right, our, re our storage is still full, or is it not? No, uh, it's not really, but I'll drop it a little bit. Let's uh, thin out the numbers of our food. Uh, we've not got very many nanomeds left either which is unfortunate calco sludge yeah we we don't seem able to uh produce much in the way of calco sludge we do have a new skyscraper that we can upgrade a little further should we need to i'm almost certainly going to have to set up another 
um, O2 filter around about here, I'm going to uh, imagine. Let's actually have a look at the air quality. Yeah, it's getting better, but it could do with a bit of help. I mean, around here, it's actually fine. Um, hmm. You know what? Let me activate the repair drone protocol and also turn on our batteries just in case we need them. Yeah, we do. There we go. Uh, right. Okay. So, and we have basically been living like that every every winter, turning all the batteries on. Uh, let's get this down here so we can purify this air a little bit and help out these people who are living little little outposts along this massive uh, massive tunnel network to connect up to the geotherm, which is really where we needed a lot of people. We'll probably build up some sort of hub over here, I'm imagining. That would seem to make a bit of sense. Also, in the um, in the winter, we are losing a little bit, so it's probably time to consider upgrading that, though. We've got so much there, I'm not sure if that's really necessary. Thankfully, during the uh, stormy periods, we actually managed to generate quite a lot of power thanks to our lightning rods attracting so much yes it does unfortunately because they may not want me as their leader for too much longer and that does frighten me quite a lot um what's wrong yeah job filter lives in outpost yeah you actually got a, quite a, a a track to get over here uh, you know what, let's let's go ahead and build our habitat because we are going to need one so let's get one going we will be building this up into a bit of a hub. Really? Why? Why are they happy? Uh, right, trade hub. Yes, that's been on my mind for a little while, actually. Uh, it seems like the next obvious step to trying to trade off what we don't need. Uh, however, we're going to need some creep spoke protection around here, I'm going to say. Let's go ahead and build that about there. That should cover everything we needed to cover. Wouldn't mind getting uh, some extra defense as well. In terms of our income, I think the next step is to get an extra chemical plant running. I think that's the, the next step towards increasing that. So I'm going to do that before we build a trade hub, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. The shard storm should be protected. No, we've got no defenses up there for that. So, let's get this one right there, and then we will have some defenses for it. Hopefully. Get you going. There we are. Everything is sorted. Wow, really? This place has grown so much faster than I was expecting. Right, let's turn the batteries back on. There we go. They haven't reached full charge yet, but there's not much we can do about that one. Uh, except, perhaps, building over to this. They do have a collection of nanites there. Might make it worth the trip. But before we do, um, we need to address our storage issues, which are becoming quite a concern. Let's go ahead and place another storage facility down here. It's lovely to have buildings that I don't need to run roads to. Good times are these. Now, it's gonna, we'll actually spend the time to upgrade it fully as well, because uh, why not? We do seem to be filling up our storage a little bit faster than I would like. Uh, there we are, topping up our batteries. That's good times. Now, how long is it going to take us to get it? There we go. Uh, that one actually is 36 nanites. Mm, I guess we could go for that. While starting to build out into in this direction towards this other hub. Somewhere along the line, I think we're going to... Ooh, what's happening there? High crime? Where? Oh, right, yeah, the place I don't have a police station. Uh, sorry, everyone. Let me let me fix that for you as soon as I possibly can. We need 18 nanites. We've got 18 nanites. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. My, my super bad, everyone. I mean, it's none too great around here, honestly, but uh, around there is particularly nasty. Yeah. I guess I'll be upgrading that as well. But... Whilst I'm working on that and waiting for all of the nanites to build up, plague spores, by the way, are almost a non-issue at this point because they love going here. And so we've got a uh, certain measure of control over them, unless they decide to start going towards the geotherm, which I don't know if they did. Well, no, no, this one definitely wanted to still come over here. Uh, toxic gas emissions probably going to come from over there. Yeah, we're going to have to set that up. I think it's a little bit uh, too easy to deal with the plague spores as a result of this. You just leave one good place for them to enter and they will ignore everywhere else they could possibly enter in any way, shape or form. 
Not quite sure that's how it's meant to work, I'll be honest. But I'll bring you back when we're a little bit closer to the other geotherm, I think. Okay. It seems that we may have a little bit of a problem over here, as expected. Consumption is the biggest issue. They've just got no, like, retail opportunities over there without traveling for ages to get on here. Though I, I do wonder what they what they mean by ages. Like, they, they seem to be traveling, you know, moving around to quite a clip. Really, is that more than, like, five minutes walk? Is it really that hard to walk down to the center? Though, that being said, there are, um... 786 no sorry that's a uh, power how many people have we got living here 336 people uh, can we really expect one single retail center to help with all of that probably not we probably want to look at improving things i do have a second chemical plant however which is uh doing a bit of good though looking at things we probably want a new police area set up just over here that should help us out a little bit. I'm thinking we definitely need to get something here. Oh dear. These ones don't. Yeah, they're, they're super unhappy. I'm going to need to deal with that before I have a riot on my hands. Um, you weren't speaking out of turn, though. I need to know these things. After all, I can't make it better if you don't let me know there's a problem. Uh, play Explorers are inbound, which is a bit of an issue. I could place a retail center here, and it might be able to service all of these. There is that, and I could have a, a little um, uh, residential structure just over there. Right now, it seems that this is enough to keep people from being totally unhappy with entertainment. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's okay. But yeah, consumption is definitely the big issue that we're facing right now. And that unfortunately requires 38 nanites to fix. We aren't too far from that, though. So I think I'm going to place the retail center right about here. And that should service everyone who's working in these areas. I'll put the the next residential hub just there as well. And that should all help out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that straight away because people were so unhappy with all of that. What's wrong? Well, you can't... What? Yeah, what? Come on now. That's just asking for far too much. We haven't even employed... A, oh, okay, we've employed... A, okay, I suppose it's time to finally upgrade a few things i i guess you may have a point um how much do we need on this one only 32 and we're not too far off that we've actually managed to get our nanites up to a reasonable amount at this stage i'm pretty impressed with that honestly uh go on then we'll pop that one there and this should take away some of their concerns we'll have a look though let's have a quick peek is that it you happy you're happy oh my lord we've done it they have been complaining for so, so long. Is everyone okay over here? More or less? Yeah, it seems we may be finally doing a good job, perhaps. Uh, we do, however, need some more police presence over there. Honestly, I need to upgrade this one and that one up fully. But at the moment, I think we're doing all right. And we're not reliant on any kind of mineral at all, in fact. Uh, place balls not a problem for us let's just check on our inventory we've actually got more calco sludge than we're using that is a fantastic place to be because that means that at long 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 last we can afford to build another one of these uh however i'm going to split things up a little bit um we're going to pop this one all the way over here i think let's get that one in there I'm going to say we're going to need to upgrade you, though, because otherwise all of these things that I've got over here that are... Oh, dear, we've got an infection. Really? Well, they should all be near enough to the hospital that they get cured. So, oh, we've got no man nanomedicines. Right. Let me uh, fix that. Sure, 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 sure. It'll be fine. Absolutely. It's not an epidemic. Don't use words like that. Those are bad words in this colony. All right. Uh, let me find a hospital. Uh, 36 nanites. I think we can afford to get a hospital about there, and that should take care of quite a lot of things for us. Uh, let's have a look at the overall oxygen. Yeah. Air quality is pretty good. Pretty solid, in fact. 
I'm remarkably impressed with that. Though food, mm, not quite as good. There's still a bunch of people infected. It's probably because no one can get to a hospital over here. Yeah, all the infected are up here. They got outside of the range of the other hospital. <laughs> Drat, damn and blast. There we go. Uh, that should fix it. Now, commute overlay. The commute up there is pretty bad. The commute's over here, kind of nasty. But on the whole, I wouldn't say they're terribly bad. Uh, I guess we could fix this one a little bit by adding an extra outpost just there. Just enough to allow people to get into these jobs. They can, they can move there in order to uh, fix these jobs up a bit. Uh, yeah, that seems like the better idea, honestly. The other thing we can do is, given how many people are likely to need to work there, we can upgrade these. Uh, and I think that's probably a wise move at this stage. That all being said, we're just dancing around the thing that they want me to do, and that is to build a trade hub, which will probably fix a lot of problems for me, which, uh, you know, does beg the question why I haven't done it, really. Uh, let's actually, before we do, just check. Calco, so should be fine. We've actually got two farms now producing Calco and two cam labs producing calco sludge i can't imagine it's gonna to be too bad uh you know what let's spread the load you can produce plague vaccine for a while this one will produce nano meds and generally we'll be okay now with two hospitals we might actually use the nano meds up at a reasonable pace right but time for no not an immigration center we want a trade hub and the trade hub should probably go over here what I'm thinking of doing is connecting that up and then getting another uh, connection to... Oops, let's hope that they get fixed. There we are. Uh, we'll probably run a connection all the way along here, which will link to these so they don't have to walk all the way around. Because I can't, I can't imagine that this is too much of a commute to them. Seems a bit silly, honestly. In fact, let's run that all the way along. There we go. We have completed so many objectives at once. Trade, okay. We have completed the police mission. Batteries. We've also completed cargo pods. We've picked up a couple of them. Trade hub is idle. Yes, indeed it is. And finally, new missions. Okay, the quarry spores. Our scientists indicate they should grow quite well in the fields in Hyla Crescent. Okay, we'll get some quarry spores for you. And expand the colony. Three additional structures of any type. Uh, excluding tunnels, of course. All right, well, that seems fine, but let's actually have a look at what other trades are available. We've got nanites for ration packs. We're now making infinite nanites. Uh, iron for barley, that seems just silly. Uh, we could bring oh, hollow units and robots. Service robots, this would really improve people's morale, but it's expensive to do. At least right now, maybe once I've expanded out our Calco production significantly, then maybe we'll have a look into it. But in the meanwhile, sure, we can uh, set this up. For oh, wow, you weren't joking, were you? This is actually pretty good. Sure, we can place something around here, I think. 10 there, 12, 11, yeah, sure. We'll get this one set up over there. That should be fine. On that note, though, it does remind me we need food for our people as well. So since we're going to be growing quarry, let's have a look at something we can make with quarry. Uh, let's have a look. Quarry spores. Calco and quarry spores make amaranthium. Sure. All right. I think that would be uh, worth us going for. But whilst they're looking into that, let's have a gander around, see if there's any better places for food around here. I mean, there's some amazing places up here for melons. Uh, sure, we'll pop down some melons there and because of that I'm going to upgrade as well uh, lies lies and fabrications uh, though I suppose I had best address it uh, yeah that actually looks like quite a lot let me have a look here what's the water table like 100% there and what about up by this one 100% 100% 100%, uh, 200% around here Okay, we can make this happen. Get 100% there, and then we'll get the 100% down here as well, and we'll upgrade it as soon as we can. Right, city of 400. Okay, 11 nanites, nice. 
Uh, grow 300 quarry spores. Done. Research amaranthium. Done. Uh, I do need to worry about creep spores. They generally come from over here, which we can easily shoot down. But... I think assuming that we'll always be able to do that is a bit silly. So we'll pop down an additional uh, scrubber drone hub there. Now, how are you doing? Nice job running the colony into the ground, Governor. Really? Really? Uh, I suppose... I suppose you do have a point on the entertainment front. I haven't built you a bar and grill, have I? My bad. I accepted this once, but you could have said it a bit nicer, you scallywag. There we go. Let's uh, get that up and running. That should uh, cheer everyone up over there. Right. 500 citizens. That scary, I'll be honest with you. I'm sure we can arrange this and go ahead. You can take Arcori and import 300 rice. Uh, for because Sandy Gulch have developed a mighty hankering for Antari bread and oatmeal. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm doing Antari research. Uh, my storage is full as well, which is kind of a pain in the bum, really. Uh, but thankfully, we can just pop some more down there. Though I do need to check. Are we actually defended over on this side? anymore because I, I sort of feel that we might not be let me have a look if we click on this and then click show range yeah oh actually no we've got one down here as well so yeah we are actually defended though i'm not sure we'll be defended from ice shards so given that i'm gonna build an extra defense just about there just to protect from any issues now then, we should be trading. Oh, insufficient power. It's been a while since we had that problem. Let's go ahead and activate that. There we go. Everything should be okay. I could, of course, set up some wind farms, which wouldn't be affected by winter. Mm. I'm not in a great rush to do that, though. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Uh, yes, I do indeed recall. Happens every year. My memory is not that bad. Whoever's been spreading these rumors it is a scallywag and a scoundrel, in fact. I will find out who they are, and I will force them to work in the geothermal plant all the way over here, and I'll take away the outpost so they have to walk for, like, half their life. Or, like, five minutes, which may as well be the same thing to these colonists, the lazy bums. Okay, the next trade mission is going to be in exporting some broccoli. Now, we've got any good places. This is kind of a good place. Probably one of the only decent places that we have for broccoli. So, sure, we'll pop that down. We'll get that trade set up as well. Let's uh, go ahead and upgrade that all the way. And since this is a decent food source, we'll make sure that that's prioritized. This one... Uh, no, I don't think we really need the uh, quarry beans at all. Now, we are distributing amaranthium here, and we're also distributing it right there, and finally, just over here. So generally, I'm hoping that people are fairly happy, though uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if they weren't. Uh, no, actually, unemployment is the main thing that's making them unhappy right now. How was that happening? 93. You scoundrels, you. You're unemployed when there are jobs to be filled. That being said, there is... Oh, wow, there's a crime problem. But uh, there is just a problem in commuting. So it's probably uh, an issue around these areas, I imagine. Uh, no, this one's got someone working there. Okay. Well, what we could do... We could either place down an extra outpost or upgrade... A habitat. I think we're actually going to go for a habitat, honestly. Let's expand this little population center out a, a bit. Though, again, we're going to have to keep up with upgrading our air filters, I think. There we go. This one can be upgraded as well. They're rather expensive to upgrade, but it's worth doing. Uh, right, we've researched Antari. Okay, in order to manufacture either of those, we need a mill. Very well, I think we can sort this out there. Oh my lord! Energy mother load! I think we might have to head up there, because we still do suffer... Well, we suffer even in the uh, the sun at this point a little bit. We, we're definitely in need of some more energy. Or more storage. Either or will help us out a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and pop down a... A next uh, tier 3 battery there. Though that's not going to immediately solve our problems. But it will 
blunted a little bit. I think, though, we are definitely going to have to expand out a solar farm. We could probably have something like that over here. Just uh, building out behind these buildings for a little while. And right now, what I tend to do is have my solar kind of in a checker pattern with the batteries. That way I know that we're storing plenty to get us through the, uh, the dry spells of energy. And then we've got uh, a decent amount of income. And every now and then I'll dot a cannon or a lightning tower as needed to support us. But how much are we producing? We're still actually draining our batteries, are we? Or are we slowly filling them? There we go. We are actually slowly filling them. It's good times. But yes, a lot of this mission has been waiting and trying to resolve small problems in the way the colony is set up, largely in commute times. Uh, commute penalty. Why? How, how do you have a commute penalty? You live there. Oh, these silly people. However, uh, let's have a look at you. Where, where are you actually getting uh, your... Ah, okay. So yeah, I can see why now. You're actually having to commute quite a distance. I would prefer to have another habitat or even a skyscraper down here to try and fix that problem. Hmm. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? We could have a habitat or we could go for a skyscraper. A habitat would probably fix enough of the problem that we wouldn't have to worry too much about it. Let's build out a road. Make sure that we can connect. Oh, is that blocked? Or is it just we're out of nanites? No, we're definitely not out of nanites. It is, in fact, blocked. Well, that's a bit of a pain, but we can easily fix it by doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a habitat just down here. Just to help the uh, buildings along this edge here. Uh, we can upgrade that as soon as we can as well. Uh, Metropolis. Wow, we've already reached a population of 500. I'm rather impressed, actually. <laughs> I hope we don't actually need to get that far. I'll be perfectly honest, that frightens me. The idea of needing that much, uh, that many people is kind of scary. Uh, this one's got a decent range, I'm fairly certain, but let's uh, be certain of that. Yeah, and then this one, yeah, we, we basically cover everything, but I'll upgrade them just to make sure that they're doing their job properly now let's have a look at how people are moving around that's good we should be seeing much less commute penalty in fact only one place has any commute penalty left that is glorious and we can easily fix that by placing down a single outpost right there and then our workers should be in a pretty good place only they're not for some reason uh, ah, jobs filled. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a little bit of a problem. I I acknowledge that we may have a crime problem and also a jobs problem. Uh, I will fix. Okay, currently trading some melons as our next objective, which is fantastic because we've got a ridiculous amount of it. Uh, our storage is rather full. Uh, let's get down another expanded storage then. Uh, this one can go over here, actually. Let's place that one down there. Though I'm starting to notice that we can't actually expand out any further in this direction. So, given that, let's place down... You know what? Let's go for a uh, tier 3 drone hub. This is the kind of the central hub of this colony, so it makes a lot of sense. Uh, additionally, I would like some extra defenses up here, just to be sure. Now, interestingly, it's generally the only time that we'll get a plague infestation is when we're also dealing with this, because our cannons are so busy shooting down the shards. I wonder if having just massive overlapping cannons would help that. I would hope it would. We'd also got to make some uh, Xeno... Uh, sorry, uh, let's have a look at that. What is it? Xeno Spiced Bread. Though, if we're going to do that, I may as well have a look at Xeno Glow as well. We're currently producing some Intari Bread and Intari Oatmeal from flour that we manufacture. Well, actually, we're mostly getting the flour from elsewhere, so really, I should consider building a greenhouse to get wheat as well. And where would that grow? Um, actually, it's not too bad down there. Even better there, though. So let's go ahead and hook this one up. And given that, um, we've actually got a lot of stuff going on down here. Let me just have a look at the commute. Uh, it's probably a decently long commute. So, let's make your lives a little bit easier by popping this down there. There we go. That should help, I'm hoping. No, it doesn't seem to... Uh, it kind of is, actually. Is the commute so bad? Yeah, the commute is pretty nasty, actually. Uh, okay, well, we're going to need a... 
a bit of air filtering going down here anyway. So, given that, let's pop that one down. And we'll get another habitat. Doesn't need to be a particularly big one on this side. And just set, set that up. Right. Got a couple of things researched. I'm more or less ignoring these at that at this point. Ooh. High command envisions highly a crescent as a key population center. Well, yeah, actually, we're heading that way. For spreading human civilization across Avon Prime. In concordance with that vision, we require substantial power to continue operation uh, operating this colony in the long term. Build a Zorium generator. Well, I mean that's fine. But do we actually have the mean do we have any Zorium around? Oh, you you expect me to be all the way over there? I mean, I guess that does make sense since I'm sort of meant to be over there to pick up some sort of artifact that is somewhere. Uh, perhaps I should be heading in that direction right now. I don't see the artifact though. Unless it's some sort of gigantic... Uh, is that it? Is this it? No, that couldn't possibly be it. No, that's a rock formation. Pretty an awesome rock formation though. Where's the artifact that I'm meant to be here for? I see it not. Unless it's buried up here somewhere. No, I see none of this, but that's the only Zorium area that we've got. So I guess we're going to be making uh, some headway in that direction shortly. Uh, we've got the export operation on the go. I think the next thing we would really need... Um, yeah, as I was saying, we, we kind of need a place to get some... Uh, we're gonna need some Xenosage, so I'm gonna set that up. Okay, as we're making our way out to this last little area over here, I figured I'd just show you how I set up my, uh, little outpost. Generally, I built this first right on the edge so that I've got a little bit more freedom in how I'm gonna be able to place my outpost itself. Um, usually I wouldn't put one, uh, at, at triple upgraded one down but since this one had a mine I, I figured I might as well uh, this one is going to be reasonably close to a couple of geotherms but that being said I think we could probably still get away with just a basic one for now and with that we're almost built up to them and with when we get there we should be able to shut off all of this gas that's billowing out of them uh, we'll run along here and then just build up to this one simply because these two will be along the same tunnel that way however we are going to need lightning protection here so since this is one that doesn't need to be directly connected we'll just place it down there and this one can be placed there as it'll cover a little bit more but we do want some shard protection as well so place one of those down we have reached a point where we're almost using up all of the power that we're producing and i've had to expand a fairly extensive solar setup down here in all uh, honesty um i could have a second one of those don't we need a second one another one of these would be useful for the shards especially around the solar panels themselves and then we'll just pop down two extra solar panels there as well however at night as you can see we're about 340 shy which is a bit nasty but we do have quite a lot of batteries i'm not upgrading these batteries because we don't need that much battery capacity to get through the night there we are entire bread uh would like to balance their food with some corn uh that should be a doable thing as well we'll get some oh earthquake uh, I guess we'll accept it. We can actually get 25 Zorium only once though, but we shouldn't really need to worry about that one. We're doing okay for nanites, generally speaking. It, eh, there's always room for improvement, honestly, but generally speaking, we're doing okay. Uh, I would like to pop down some storage. You know what, since we're, we've got such a, a hub growing over here, this is not just a highway. We may as well add storage up here as well. So I'm going to require 48. Uh, only 48 nanites. I remember when we started this mission about two hours ago. And uh, the idea of only 48 nanites was completely alien to me. Uh, right, we're going to want another outpost. So this one's going to be fairly hefty because you're going to have to support two um, geotherms and a zorium mine and a zorium generator and an iron deposit as well. So, suffice to say, we're going to be using quite a lot. Uh, we'll need, well, given that actually, I'm going to go ahead and build a large one. We're going to also get 
We'll probably want this set up ASAP as well. Place bones detected. This, however, is going to require some people working it. So let's get down a little outpost that will allow us to get that done right away. Then we're going to want the uh, O2 plague infection. What? They managed to get in. Oh, those scallywags. There must have been lots of plagues in order to do that high crime way. Ah. What, really? It only just got built. What were you expecting? Oh, my lord. So, sometimes these people, they're very... Very demanding. Let's just say that. Uh, it should be fine, though. Since the only place that we tend to get any infection is between two decent hospitals with plague vaccines. So it's unlikely the spread will ever reach this far. Still, if we're going to have a hub over here, a hospital is probably not a bad idea. Uh, we are going to need some uh, police, though, which is a bit of a pain, but... Oh, well. We just need a few more nanites to be able to get you built up. And we'll place you down here in the middle. Right about there. And next up, we're going to need a hub. Now, the hubs are going to take a little bit longer to set up. Though, with the iron flowing in, we're finally starting to see nanites being manufactured at a reasonable speed. I'm probably going to pop down the hub. Yeah, sure. We'll pop it between these two. That makes a, a bit of sense to me. Now we just need 15 to get this one going. There we are. Fantastic. And we're going to need mm, probably another one as well. What, what's wrong? About the crime problem. I, I just did. Oh, you're so, so demanding and so impatient. Clearly I am working on things. I don't know. This colony is nothing like my other colonies. My other colonies, everyone understood that we're on an alien world. Things aren't going to happen straight away. Oh dear. Is that going to actually hit anything? Wow, you're spitting those really high. Uh, none of them have been close enough to any of my turrets for the turrets to open fire on them, though, so far. Right, let's get that up and running. And that should resolve our power problem, which I totally didn't properly resolve. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on the batteries while we need them. There we go. Um... I could. Mur earthquake. My people's health. Oh no. We're slowly killing my people with confection. I'm, I'm assuming earthquake is, is like a, a, a sweet tasting bar of some sort. Um, it could be something quite different. Uh, right, that one's set up. We're going to need probably some more inhabitants over here, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Let's get you hooked up and probably... A road going up and around. What do you need? You need jobs? Well, I mean, we've got all of these things. Uh, you know what? Uh, there's a couple of other things that we need over here as well. Since we're so far from the other retail centers, we're going to need one. We're also going to want probably two barn grills. One of them is going to be a bistro. There we go. Bistro. Now what else do you want? Lower crime. Well, I, I, you, you literally live right next to our police droids. And I can only assume that these police droids are not the not the the soft kind of police droids. These are the stop doing whatever. Cr th these are the Judge Dread droids. They just kind of show up. If you've got a weapon, give you like three seconds to drop it. If you don't, if you even look like you're not about to drop, it'll just attack you. And if you are sleeping in the doorway of a retail park, that's it. Two days ISO cubes straight away. I don't know what more you want from me, frankly. Uh, plague spores detected. That shouldn't be an issue, though. Over here, it would be if they managed to get into the geotherm. So, let's wrap things up a little bit by adding a little bit more firepower than we frankly need. You know, to, to keep up with the whole judge, I think. There we go. Fantastic. Now, is everyone happy? I hope so. Let's have a look. Uh, you know, not strictly happy. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of okay. They, they're uncertain. They're certainly uncertain ab about this whole thing. But I'm going to give you a hospital as well because you're actually really far from the other one. I feel you need it. There we are. Let's have a look. There we are. We're actually using up our nanomedicines pretty quickly now. Good, 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 good. Fantastic. I've worked very hard for this, in my opinion. 
93% employed, 97% of jobs are filled. I could probably na ha um, hunt down which jobs aren't being filled. If we have a look at com uh, that's commute, we aren't actually seeing any commute issues. Hmm. Jobs, that looks all right. Uh, okay, maybe it would be a little bit harder for me to hunt that down. Still, I'm liking that the little hubs are now much more contained. Like, there's no one in this hub having to travel from another one, though you are traveling a little ways down there. That I don't really like to see. Let's go ahead and set you up with another little outpost right there to solve that problem. Uh, everything else is doing reasonably well. That little hub is doing fine. Though, that being said, a lot of you are actually moving over there. Mm. That one's a bit of a potch. I guess we could have another outpost there to try and resolve that, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's going to reduce it a little bit, but... Ah, oh, now they're over there. This is, uh, this is a tangled web. I need a hub right there, and then they're going to complain that they haven't got jobs. Scallywags. Oh, well, I think we're in a fairly good position right now. We've got to build a Zorium generator, and that'll probably be the power that we need to uh, analyze whatever object it is. But... Yeah, I'm fairly, I'm fairly happy with the way things are going right now. Fairly happy. And up goes the Zorium generator. Now, of course, this thing is going to nuke the air quality in this area. So I'm also putting up an additional air filter. That's going to be three air filters right around it. But the Zorium generator puts out so much pollution. Uh, additionally, we might need an extra one if we want to hit this iron node. And I think we do. Yeah, let's go ahead and set that up. We'll pop down. It won't be much of one, though, because we, we don't need that much help with... Well, put down a level two. With so many uh, people nearby, we will, however, be having an extra outpost there. We've already worked our way through a couple of the other deposits. I'm not going to hit the potash deposit. Potash, it's this thing that just kind of distracts me. I, I build something, I rely on the output from potash, and then suddenly it stops and I cry. Right, we've built the Zorium Generator. What will be next? Uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade it, though, of course. Uh, we're also going to give it a priority so that it gets enough people. Uh, where is it pulling from? Uh, all the way down there, actually. Hmm, not so happy about that one. We'll see. People are moving around. Basically, uh, they will change where they live based on the job that they've got. And they may, might even change jobs based on where they live um, if they can't find a place that, that that's closer to where they want to be uh, employed normally. And so they, they'll generally be intelligent about moving things around as necessary. Do you remember those old legends about the crisis of the last 21st century and how video games saved civilization? I'm not sure I believe them either, but I do know they have... <laughs> An incredibly, uh, credible ability to change people, and often for the better. I think you should build a virtual reality center to let your colonists have some fun. I think that is a fantastic idea, yes. Let us get a virtual reality center, and we shall place it... Uh, let's not put it up there. Let's plop it down. Uh, you know what, we'll pop it there, and then we'll draw a road out toward it from behind there. That way... Everyone can get to it. In fact, I'm going to give you one. I've got to give one to everyone. So let's go about and um, pop down a couple of virtual reality centers, shall we? Uh, one around here would be quite cool, I think. No, go away. There we go. That should make people very, very happy. See, we've got five nanites for that, but uh, that's not the reason I did it. Uh, there we are. Look at that entertainment morale going up. Though we still got a problem with crime. Where? Oh, all the way over there, apparently. And up by there. And everywhere over here. My lord. Uh, okay, well, that, that's crazy because I've got a, a third layer crime prevention station just by there. But okay, we'll pop one down there. And in fact, we'll also drop another over here. Because I guess we have got an enormous population here now, so it makes a lot of sense. Let's get all of that going. And we should be able to deal with some of these concerns. Uh, we'll also expand our storage as well by placing one there. There we go. That should be good. Do we have lightning protection? I think this still covers this area. Should do. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, that's all going good. We no longer need to switch over to batteries at night, which is grand. Uh, let's see this. Okay. 
A special building called an artifact containment unit. Please build one anywhere in the colony. Marvellous. I should be able to. 24 nanites uh, requires two power. Scientists have developed this structure in order to contain any alien artifact you may discover on even Prime and potentially activate them. Mm, that sounds a little bit uh, a little bit worrisome. Let's place it. Um, I guess we'll just place it there. I don't know if it needs any workers. It didn't seem to. No, no workers. The following was added to your colony's inventory is a reward of complete artificial con artifact containment. 11 nanites. Okay, right. Let's have a look at these then. Number of tasks that await your attention on the surface of even Prime. If you're able to, blah, 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 blah. if you're able to build it, get four commendations, I guess. I got a special objective for you. Okay. Now it's time to analyze the mysterious object. Extend your colony out toward the object and acquire it with a construction drone. Where is it? Wow, that's super close. That is incredibly close. We should be able to easily do this. Uh, all right. Well, let's build out. I'm not sure we're going to worry too much about getting the commendations, frankly. Uh, though that being said, there's people who need our help. Can we, can we as dapplings say no to that? No, of course we cannot. We need to build an expedition center. Ah, dear me. Uh, right. I, well, we're going to need two of these to get out there. That's kind of a pain in the bum, honestly. All right, we'll build that. We're going to need some extra um, living quarters up here, though, I fancy. So let's go ahead for another habitat. We don't need at all a skyscraper not up here i wouldn't say uh let's pass some time there we should get all of this built fairly quickly i would imagine let's have a look at our population 86 mm. percent of the jobs filled but only 69 percent of the housing has been filled on the whole things are going well i would say uh we've got to recover the object and of course we're going to go out and get four commendations and not for commendations you understand because people need our help it just so happens that we get rewarded for it Ooh, low water. Yeah, I guess we have been doing a lot of expansion lately. All right, where could we get a good area? Let's have a look here. Water table. Oh, that's it. 90. Oh, really? No 100%? Really? That's a little bit disappointing. Uh, 80. Oh, well. Uh, I guess then we could have an 80 there. Yeah, we could have it just a couple of 80s, I suppose. One there, one there, for example, should sort everything out for us. We have barely used enhancers in this uh, mission. I've only researched two. Uh, I think it was uh, amaranthium and... Uh, let me go to the chemical plant we'll be able to tell. Uh, we researched amaranthium and because I was making xenoglow... Uh, sorry, xenosage, I figured xenoglow as well, just because. Uh, we could... Do with an extra colony that's helping out actually you know what i'm going to turn off amaranthium there i'm going to turn off xenoglow here and what we're going to do is we're going to get a new chemical plant specifically for making the enhancers and sure we can place it over here that should be fine uh it has a level three air filter there we go all right all i want from you is amaranthium and xenoglow please that should be fine. Oh dear, we did actually get hit by that one. Drat. Oh. Uh, we're just above the amount of power we need. Only just. Uh, really? With a, with a Zorium generator? You're kidding me, right? I think it may be running on like... I think this may scale up how much it produces based on how much we need. I think. Uh, let's build some more turrets around here. Turrets. There we go. And since we can, I should have been doing this a while ago, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and get shielding, a medical bay, enhanced thrusters, enhanced scanners, and then a Zorian bomb. Just because Zorian bomb, you know. There we are. Okay, right. Well, I would like to go on an expedition, please. places where we can send our first expedition vessel. Make sure. Looks like this is the source for one of the kinds of spores that have been attacking our colonies. Oh. We should definitely get rid of this. That's interesting. I wonder if we got rid of that, whether we'd stop the, the creep spores. Looks like but, someone uh, could use our assistance. Better send the team out there. Yeah, Torchbearer, get out to them first, and you can maybe hit one of these on the way back. But uh, let's bring them back home as soon as we possibly can, please. And indeed, thank you. Uh, we want a couple more turrets on this side, I guess. There we are. 
And at this point, we want to start expanding out in this direction, though. That being said, given how much we've got going on here, I'll upgrade that one. Your citizens seem happy with your performance. They better. Good chance to win this we've we've done it amazingly on this level, I feel. Uh, let's pick that up. And yeah, even though we're only really going out here to collect this, let's go the whole hog and set up a little uh, drone area and uh, a um, an outpost there as well. I think you're on track to win this. Round I would hope so. But here's the hmm. I'm not liking the crime level on that side. We could go OTT and build even more uh, of a police presence there. Right, low water still. Are you kidding me? Wow, that's actually kind of kind of worrying. Uh, ah ha 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 ha. No, we need you to have maximum population, please. And on that note, I need to make sure you've got it. Uh, you have got it around there. Okay. Well, it might just be a a factor of us not having uh, enough population here right now. We're still running all of this off just one. Uh, immigration center. Now, you have picked them up. Uh, yeah, it looks like. Uh, we've detected an interesting species of native plant. We'd like to send a team to analyze it. Sure, okay, we'll uh, go and do that. And all the while, we're getting plenty of things. Marvelous. The drone was summoned, but it's building things that are more important to it. Uh, I can accept that. I like a drone that, that knows what's, what's what and... Uh, can choose its own priorities for things. Other people will call that singularity and, and frankly, recklessly dangerous. Me, I think that's just good drone practice. Okay, well, since we're having so much of a problem over here, have we actually got everyone in these ha habitats? We don't. So, no, we don't need to build anything else there. Maybe what we could do is build a... Uh, a... Um other immigration center but not so keen on that right now uh what do we need over there we pinpoint a site that may be particularly suitable for crop production and perhaps a future colony we'd like to send an exploration team here to place a bio scanner um sure let's get down there uh oh wait no 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 torchbearer does not yet have uh torchbearer i'd like you to return you don't yet have an medical bay. If you did, I'd be okay with you being out there, but uh, new. Right, let's go and pick this up. This is an unknown object, apparently of alien origin. This object can be acquired with a construction drone. It will be transferred to an empty artifact containment unit. Make it so. Go forth. Oh, hello. It's drifting by aimlessly. There we are. Our first shape, hooray! Well done, Chancellor. The colony appears to be self-sufficient, and you've recovered the artifact. Hey, Jack. Are you online? I'm on. Okay, what's the status of your research? Have you discovered anything more about our mysterious cube? I've decoded Chapter 1. Well done. You were telling us that the alien race received some sort of warning about an impending extinction-level event. Have you figured out the nature of this event? Yeah. Apparently, they received radio signals from another extraterrestrial species, telling them that a nearby star was about to go supernova. And the radiation from that was going to wipe out all life on the planet in just 10 years. Well, Ouch. the planet recovered quite well. Well, I guess that explains why they're not here anymore. Look at the bright side. We've got the planet all to ourselves now, yes? That's a bit. They refer to this other civilization hmm. as the Builders. I haven't been able to figure out the reason for that yet. Okay, Colandra. I'd like you to check the stellar history logs. See if you can find any evidence of historical supernovas within seven parsecs of Avon Prime. I'll do a search, but it may not be in here. The supernova records we brought from Earth are spotty at best and aren't accurate more than a half a million years back. Hang on. Here's where it gets interesting. Okay. The builders said that even though they couldn't save the species, they were willing to accept a message from their civilization that would outlive them and share it with the other species in the universe. Their last words, basically. So hmm. all the other intelligent life in the universe would have something to remember them by. But here's the catch. Oh, the poetic. It had to be limited to 88,000 words. Okay, that's weird. Why only 88,000 words? It doesn't say. But it sounds like the aliens were just as confused about that as we are. 
That's about the size of one of those old novels from the 21st century. Mm -hmm. right. Have they got different sizes wow. to your novels now? So they it? basically told them they were all going to die and they had to fit their last words into a paperback novel. Exactly. Okay, that's crazy. Then what do you even do at that point? <sighs> what a situation to be in. That's like somebody tells you you have a terminal disease and six months to live. And all that anyone will ever be able to know or remember about you will be what you write in a notebook. It's pretty heavy stuff. That is kind of insane. Wow. I imagine it would really change your perspective on things, knowing that everything you do day to day is totally irrelevant. And how do you even pick what to write? How do you get millions of people to agree on the 88,000 words that are going to represent everything they've lived for as a species? Sounds like that was a question they had a very hard time answering. I've just started on the second part, but it seems to be about their conflicts when trying to answer that question. Interesting. Okay. Good work, Jack. Why don't you get to work on part two and let us know when you have it translated? Roger that. What amazed me is just how much they believe Jack. Like, no one questioned his translation. It's like, nope, that's, that's, that's absolutely right. We'll just ponder the the extremely odd situation you just fed us. And, yeah, just accept it as truth. There's no possible alternate translation. No, no, no. You must be 100% correct. I mean, that, that's actually, you know, that's a little bit different from the way they've been treating Jack up to now. Is that kind of the, the, the mischievous one. The one that gets into trouble and possibly sends pictures of his butt to the whole colony. Yeah, you know, the, all right, fair enough. Maybe they've got a very different professional versus social opinion of Jack. Maybe Jack is just that good. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Unexpectedly, we didn't get our two uh, our other two commendations. Uh, well done, Commander. You have completed this mission. You can end this mission immediately by selecting Claim Victory. Alternatively, if you would prefer to continue growing your colony, you may select Continue Playing Now or Claim Victory. Our score leapt up right towards the end there. My goodness it had a decent climb there and then just kind of just a slow climb total colonists was going up fairly fairly steadily for much of it employment eh, it's kind of all over the place happiness though i'd like to believe that, that that's a decent amount of happiness probably around 100 i mentioned wow no actually much lower much much lower we were around maybe 70 80 most of the time uh actually it shows us doesn't it yeah there we are so yeah, 70, 80 around here is a little bit low, but that was before our colony really got set up. Colonists fed plus hydrated. Forever, all of them. That is good. Housing capacity, yeah, that jumped, spiked quite a lot towards the end. Uh, we only ever really had any infections right at the beginning, but after that, our cannons were good enough. Uh, air quality, we had a bit of a drop during one of our first expansions, but otherwise... Not too bad, I would say. We'll be heading on to Tenari Glacier in the next episode. Do let me know what you think about this one, because I'm going to try and edit it down into one episode, unless I don't, in which case this message is going to kind of show that I was a bit of a derp and I couldn't do it. So, you know, in that case, make fun of me in the comments, I suppose. But if I do manage to do it, then I would appreciate any feedback on the way I edited this episode. And if you'd like me to continue trying to condense them into a single longer episode overall. But that's going to be it from me. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next. But until then, do take care.